All right, everyone. Today, I just want to share something with you guys. I kind of stumbled upon something. It's not really, you know, some kind of broken hero or something. So, but maybe like a mentality thing, right? And I've been thinking about this for some time. Recently, I've been casting, I've been coaching, and then I haven't had so much time to play Dota. Because of that, while I'm streaming, I've only been able to play like two or three games. And this kind of started, let's say, a week or so back. So this is where I feel like we started playing a few games. Before that, I was actually playing quite a lot, actually. Some days I played like six games. Some days I played like seven games, even ten games occasionally. And then all of a sudden, something changed. If you like our content, please do like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click the notification button below so you will be notified when a new video will be released. And uh, one of the things I feel like that changed is the fact that I played less games made me win more. And I started to think why that's the case. So if you can see here, starting on the 5th up until the 12th here, so it's like one week, I, be I played 15 games and in 15 games I won 14 of them. Which is insane. So that's like two or three games a day only. I don't think I've ever had that happen to me. And one of the reasons why I believe that's the case is because when you play less, you know that you have a lot of value in those games. Like you're putting a lot of value into those games. Like when I first started playing all the way back here, my games were like one hour long. And I didn't mind that because I felt like I can only play like two games that day before I had to go to sleep and I had a work day the next day. So I just focused on that game itself. I put all my efforts into that one game. I wasn't thinking like, oh, this game's over in five minutes. Let's go next, play another one or something like that. I just kind of limited myself to accepting the fact that I'm only going to be able to play like one or two games. And by doing that, it didn't matter if I had griefers on my team or people who are not playing that hard or they're feeding or something like that. I sort of just told my team, hey guys, stop whining. Let's just play. Let's just try. And there were starting to become games where I just came back. Like these one hour long games, I was actually losing pretty badly in a lot of those. Or we were winning and then we started losing and then we would come back. And these are like high immortal bracket games too. Some of them are like 8k bracket games, some of them are like 7k. But what really worked for me is that playing less allow me to put more effort into those games. And that naturally allowed me to win more as well. And Actually, six of these games were double down games. So last week I had four double downs. This week I had I have another four. Sorry, not six. Five double downs. Because last week I used three double downs. This week I've already used two double downs. And that essentially means I've won, what, 19 games in MMR worth, right? So it's pretty cool. And I think this is something a lot of people uh, have trouble with. is because they're not putting enough value into their games. Before, when I had like a bunch of games, this game, I'm like tw 10 minutes in, oh, this game's trash. I'm just gonna go ahead and play my next game. Next game, same thing happens, and I'm thinking too much about my allies. I'm thinking too much about how the other lanes are going. I'm not thinking about myself. I'm not thinking about the enjoyment that I feel in the game and what I want to do. And you guys are seeing a lot of Marana and Apparitions here, and that's because those are the heroes I wanted to play, and these are the heroes that I'm enjoying to play. Like, these are not even considered broken heroes, or even have 50% win rate in the Immortal Bracket, but I feel like I enjoy playing those heroes, and I just want to play them. And then, because I started enjoying winning with them as well, I just continue to do it, and somehow, I just have so much more fun. Even if I lost those hour-long games, I wouldn't actually feel that bad. Because I got to play something that I enjoy. So naturally, by you not picking a hero that you don't like because you just want to win MMR and picking a hero that you do like and just playing for fun, even if you lose, you're going to get that enjoyment out of the game. And that's what Dota is about. That's what playing video games is about. It's actually enjoying. And if you enjoy, you will naturally play better too. And I strongly believe that. And that's something that maybe you could use. And that could maybe be the reason why you're not winning games as well is because you're just too focused on the mmr you're too focused on you know grinding it out but maybe playing less and studying more or watching more can actually help you out one of the reasons why i actually started playing mirana is because uh one of my viewers snowy he gifted me the ultra rare set and i'm like oh this set's pretty cool let me just play it and i started enjoying more 
playing it. And I want to mention this one game I lost here was when I wanted to play position four Marana and somebody took the position four and I was delegated to position five. And I had no interest, by the way, in playing position five Marana. So all of a sudden my mind started working differently. And I realized in this game, 10 minutes in or 15 minutes in, I had like 15 deaths or something. And that's probably because I was no longer focused in the game. I had no interest in the game anymore. So a lot of the battles that we face and why we lose is because of ourselves and of our own minds. And sometimes has less to do with our allies. Because in a lot of these games, I'm pretty sure I had some kind of griefer or someone feeding. But even through that, I was able to prevail because I just try to keep the momentum going for the team. I try to help them out and make them realize that it's just a game. Like, there's no point to grief anybody. Just try and see what happens. And all of a sudden, you win one team fight, and everybody's mood just changes out of nowhere. Sometimes when the opponent is ahead, they're going to throw, right? Whatever happens to you, just think that it's also happening to your opponent. You have a griefer. There's a very good chance your opponent has a griefer as well. So you have to just play your odds at that point and just try your best and just focus on your own game. And it's very likely that if you stay positive, you will just naturally win. And just, again, don't think about the grind. Don't think about, you know, playing one game after the other. Just have fun with it. And eventually you will hit the spot where you should be. Okay, so let's answer some questions if you guys have any questions. My my conduct summary, yeah, it's like 9A5. I don't even know how it's even like that. Okay, so how do you untilt? All right, that's a very good question by Vashi. One of the things that I deal with untilting in a game itself would be to just reset and not do anything. Literally not do anything. If I feel like I'm tilted, I would just stop, think about like going to some creep camp, hitting a creep, just, you know, reset myself all together i'll kill like one camp or something if i'm a support and then by then i can already regroup and think about what the next step is right the best way to untilt is stay focused on the game the moment you're tilted you lose focus of the game now you don't have a direction anymore for yourself and that's when things start to go downhill and that's when you go into autopilot mode and you start feeding on the map and start doing random stuff so whatever it takes if you want to sit in your fountain for like 10 seconds feel free to do that just don't do it if your throne is dying Okay, that's probably the wrong time to untilt. But <laughs> if, uh, you know, the game is uh, somewhere in the mid game and you're dead or whatever, use that time to think about what your next step is and such. Let's say you end the game, you lost, and now you're tilted. The best thing to do after that is do not insta queue. There's like probably the worst possible thing you can do is try to insta queue into a game. Just chill out, you know, figure out what went wrong in your last game. Think about yourself, self reflect right think about what you could have done better instead and once you start focusing more on yourself you will naturally untilt because you're no longer thinking about everybody else right and most of the time you're tilting is because you're thinking about somebody else if you need a longer break than just five minutes you know go do something else go watch a video you know watch a you twitch stream or something watch somebody else play and then once you hit that inspiration again, once you hit that motivation, be like, oh, actually, I want to play this here. I want to try it out. You know, something like that will trigger in your mind. Once you get that, then go back and queue up for a game, right? Playing, losing a game and then playing another game right after, there's a very high chance you're going to lose the next game too. So it's best to just uh, reset yourself and figure out why you lost at least and then go into the next game. And if you do that, you will probably have a fresh you know, mindset uh, going into the next game. Sometimes actually when you're winning and you're on a high of winning, that could also be a bad thing because you're thinking too much about how you won and maybe when you go to the next game, you're going to think like, oh, you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to win the same thing again. And then suddenly you have an expectation and when you have an expectation you're, and your expectations don't get met, there's a very likely chance you're also going to tilt. So if you're too high off a win or, you know, you're too low off a loss, both things are a good sign for you to actually calm down, you know, reset, stop playing or whatever, take a chill pill, whatever, and then go back and play again once you find that motivation. Have you experienced being a four? Yes. And transition to a five happens all the time. Sometimes uh, you might play, you might be in a game and you're, you'll be delegated to a different role than what you expected. You know, that stuff happens like this game, for example, when I lost, it happened, right? And then I lost whatever. I just, Took a chill pill. I don't think I uh, 
insecure right after that game or anything like that. I think I actually stopped playing altogether. Like this, this was one day, and then the next game I played was actually like the next stream I had. I just stopped playing right there. I'm like, I'm too tilted. I'm feeding too much. There's no point to keep playing, and I just stopped. Went to the next day, and there are gonna be games where you're gonna be delegated to a different role because of your allies. Just try to make the best of it, right? It's just a game at the end of the day. If you want to play the same way that you play from a different role in another role, then go ahead. You know, if your teammates are being too toxic, just make sure you mute them. Whoever is being toxic, I easily mute people, right? If I think someone's being annoying, if they're pinging you too much, or pinging your items for no reason, and you know they're being annoying, just mute them. It's not worth it, right? It's better for your mental health. It's better for your gameplay. Again, you're just trying to have a fun time. So what's the point of letting someone else destroy your fun at that time? By just you know trying to tilt you when you're just trying to do your best uh, for some reason I gained 500 MMI ever since my girlfriend started watching me play Dota any idea maybe you feel more motivated right maybe you feel more motivated maybe in the back of your mind you were thinking like should I be playing Dota should I be spending more time with your girlfriend you know my girlfriend or something right when you have doubt in your mind that you can't like play or something it's gonna hurt you right it's gonna like be on the back of your mind one big advice i would give to people especially if you want to win or stay focused in a game is try to get everything that may hinder your focus out of the way first right uh when i play or when i come to stream i already make sure that you know i have something to eat i'm rested i've already done my workload whatever it was and then i go to play Especially this past week when I started getting my win streak. Um, it's felt much better because I can just focus my entire time onto the game. Alright guys, well, for those of you watching from YouTube, I hope my advice helped. And if you have any questions yourself, feel free to write in the comments. Maybe we can make a future video and answer some of those questions to help people, especially with mentality. For me, it's actually often very hard to try hard in public games because i'm so used to playing in co in a competitive environment with other players but right now you know i think i my mindset has adapted to playing in public games a lot especially this last like four months so now i feel a lot better with whatever i've been doing recently and i pretty much explained to you guys what i've been doing and then yeah let's see if we can make another video if you guys really like this and if you want to ask further questions you can always drop by my twitch channel i do stream like six days a week I think that's also going to be pretty cool if you guys are new and want to spark up any conversations. Oh. How do you get more viewers for an underappreciated Dota 2 stream? I have no idea, Corey. I, if you figure it out, let me know.